we are going to be taking a look at jQuery this week. And jQuery is a JavaScript library. Um, and it basically takes uh, JavaScript commands and kind of wraps them into a jQuery command, uh, which usually shortens up your code by quite a bit. Um, so it's kind of a, a matter of learning the jQuery syntax. For the reading assignment, you can either read chapter seven in the book or all of these little uh, fun snippets on uh, jQuery. Uh, they're all pretty short, but it's kind of the equivalent of what is in the book. Uh, then uh, we're gonna go through the key concepts. And you'll notice that I have videos that go with each one. Uh, they're for each major section of this uh, jQuery lecture demo. Okay, and so uh, we're gonna learn how to use the library. We're gonna learn how to do some standard programming. Uh, we are gonna learn how to handle events with jQuery, how to do animation with jQuery, how to manipulate text, HTML, and form values, and how to traverse the DOM. And so there is information in here in addition to lots and lots of examples. And for many of the examples, you'll notice that I actually created a separate file so that you can uh, kind of play with it and see how it works. Okay, and then I've got little uh, Easter eggs hidden in here <laughs> so you can play with it in here as well. Okay, so you're going to want to go through all of this, and it is lengthy, but this is how you are going to become familiar with the language. Okay, and then you are going to go through the programming assignment. And uh, really the best way to get a handle on how jQuery is different from JavaScript is to convert some JavaScript over to jQuery. So that is the first exercise. You are going to copy all of the windshield files into lesson six folder. And then um, you are going to be converting it over to jQuery. Super important that you include the script tag to pull in the jQuery library or nothing will work. Uh, and then uh, you're going to be editing your JavaScript file and converting it over. Now, I did uh, kind of type up a script for how you would uh, go about doing this, the steps um, that you need to take. Uh, but you'll notice that I didn't want to, you know, walk you through the wind chill exercise. So I walked you through how to do it on that BMI exercise that you've all completed. Um, so if you read through this and you understand how to convert the BMI, then you will not have a problem converting over wind chill. I also did a video that explains how I converted BMI. Okay, so you're definitely going to want to look through that. Um, then uh, there is a little file you're going to download and modify. And it's basically going to be a word scramble. Um, so we're going to use the jQuery, a drag and drop interface for this. And this uh, kind of shows you, uh, tells you what to change in order to create that. And then you're going to do your own drag and drop. Now, this little creation can serve as one of your games for your term project. So keep that in mind. Um, I did a little example here little mama duck. Okay, and you guys can do whatever you want. Um, I've had students do some really cool stuff with this because they have used it as part of their term project. Um, in fact, I've had students do puzzles and all sorts of different things. Uh, finally, this uh, last task is to create a list app. And so there was one in the book that I included and you can do one similar. Okay, so this is uh, what the book has. 
Um, and then there was kind of an easier one um, that I created that I think it's just a little simpler approach. Uh, so, you know, you can add and you can see how the numbers go up and you can move things around and you can delete by clicking. So this one to me is just super simple and easy and actually a lot less code. So it's going to be up to you, you know, which one, but you can see I brought in uh, the jQuery UI and also the jQuery library. And then here is my link to that jQuery file. Okay, so um, you guys can do either one, uh, whichever one you prefer. Uh, and there are videos that are explaining both sets of code to you. Okay, so um, that is the assignment. Once you are finished with the assignment, then you are going to basically be um, submitting a proposal for your term project. So I've included an overview of the term project so you know what you're going to be creating. Uh, but basically, it's going to be a site that houses three of your own games. And so one of the games has to be a jQuery game. And I already said that you could um, use your drag and drop as that jQuery game. Um, or you can do something else. Um, another game has to use HTML5 Canvas and JavaScript. So um, we did create kind of a little interactive thing uh, with HTML5 and, and uh, Canvas and JavaScript, but in upcoming weeks, we'll actually be, be creating more of a game. So you'll be uh, taking another look at that soon. Um, and then the third game, is your choice. So you can use HTML5 Canvas and JavaScript. You can um, use jQuery, or if you want to use, you know, JavaScript in a different API, that's fine. Okay. Um, the games can be originals or they can be remakes. What you cannot do is copy somebody else's code and use it as your own because that is plagiarism. Okay. So um, that is kind of an overview of the project. The proposal is very simple. Um, I just want to know what you're planning on doing for your games. And, you know, if you change your mind later on in the course, that's fine. Okay? But um, I'd like to know what your plan is. And that is what you need to submit to the Dropbox. Um, I did uh, create a video that explains the term project, um, what you need to submit for the pro proposal and what you should do for your first milestone. Uh, in addition, I have the directions for the first milestone and the first milestone showcase, which as you can see are not for several weeks. Okay, so no panicking, you got a lot of time to get this done. Um, but I know some of you are gonna wanna see this. Uh, so the, miles, the first milestone has nothing to do with the games. It is your interface that is going to house the games. Okay, so that is the first milestone. Has to be mobile friendly. You need to have links or tabs for the three games. There should be a README text file that basically gives an overview of your site and copyright information. Um, the interface, interface should be um, kind of themed uh, to match your games. It should be aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then on each of the game pages, you basically just need a little short description of the game that is going to be there. Okay, so um, the technologies that we are using are HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. Okay, you cannot use other frameworks in this project. Um, so that's the first milestone. And the showcase is basically, you know, uh, sharing with the class 
what you're doing. So you're going to have a link to your interface, and then uh, you are going to address some talking points, and you're going to demo your interface. So you need to create a video where you are talking about the audience, the interactive features, why you selected the layout, why you selected the menu design, and any coding issues you encountered. Okay, and then you'll need to demo your site. And for these talking points, you should create a PowerPoint slideshow. Uh, so you'll, I would probably demo the site and then go to the PowerPoint and, you know, talk about, you know, what you were thinking when you created the site, but it is totally up to you. And I did do an example video for you to look at. Um, now, it is helpful to see what other students have done for their term projects. So I have lots of examples. So you can kind of see the interface. Okay, and if you kind of like this drop down, uh, we will be learning how to do this in upcoming weeks. Okay, so if this is something that you really like. This is a jQuery um, interface, and you'll be learning how to do that as well. Um, and what I do for the jQuery assignment when we learn this interface is I allow you to redo your interface uh, for your game project if you want to. Okay, so if you're thinking that looks cool, you can do it too. Um, so here's another one. Okay, you can see they're all going to be super different. Uh, this is another thing that we are going to be learning in upcoming weeks. And again, um, I allow them to, if they want to redo their interface and kind of double dip that as uh, the assignment, they can do that. So this student um, used this for an assignment and he also then applied it as his interface. Okay, so if you're not super happy with your interface, uh, no worries because you'll have the opportunity to change it if you want to. So that is what we are going to be working on this week. Um, and just keep in mind that the lab assignment is due, the proposal is due, but you have several weeks to work on that first milestone.